Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So, um, I am co-admin to an amazing Facebook group on Facebook, um, Paint Coin by Venom Fluid Art with uh, Darren Nixon, uh, Sweet Wombat, and Bubbles, which is uh, Kayleen Simmons. And um, we had a challenge in the group. It was a fall challenge and I told them I would announce the winner on my uh, YouTube channel. So, the winner is uh, Tondra Love, and I'm going to post a picture right here of her winning uh, entry. And then I also, so well, congratulations, first of all, and you will be winning um, the amazing toaster by our famous Bubbles. <laughs> so um, we'll get that sent out to you. And also I wanted to mention uh, two uh, runner-ups, okay, that did amazing as well. And that is Andrea Karen, and here is her entry. And then we also have Mark Dunn, which this is his entry right here. So congratulations. Um, it was uh, an amazing job done by all of you. So um, the winner was picked by likes or loves on their picture. So that's how the winners were drawn. Um, I'm going to be posting another challenge. So um, if you're not in this Facebook group, um, you should join. So I will put the link. I'll try to put the link here, but if I can't figure it out, then it will definitely be in my description of my video coming up. So, all right, guys. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and get my video going. So congratulations again. You guys did an amazing job. Hey guys welcome to my channel uh, so today I'm just gonna do a few different um, uh, swipes and blooms just easy stuff that you guys can follow along with um, easy for beginners um, this here I can't believe that I didn't realize I had this pillow paint because um it's purple what the hell is wrong with me how did I not know I had it um, anyway it was a wonderful surprise so I've got that down and it is actually a glidden um, and it is, um, what is it? I don't know, but it's purple. I think it's Glidden. I might be wrong. Is it Glidden? Yeah, it's Glidden. And it is, um, I don't know. It says Life Master, um, uh, interior, interior eggshell. And it is in a purple. Duh. It's a pretty purple too. Look at it. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I think on this one, I'm going to do just a simple swipe.
like I said, that's just a simple swipe. And I was using American Floetrol. So American Floetrol, two parts water, one part uh, American Floetrol to one part paint. And that's what the ratio, and that's what you get out of those. So, and it was uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black is what I used for the cell activator. So, there you go. Alright, here's another one. Let's, uh, let me put my pillow paint down. Of course, you know I'm going to be doing purple for a long time now since I found this. <laughs> I was like, yay, I found purple. Woo, where have you been all my life? <laughs> oh, got a little carried away there. Okay. So, let's do this. All right, so let me spread this out a little bit. We'll get some different colors on here this time. Okay, da, 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 da. get your corners. Look at my hands, they're purple. <laughs> I don't even mind when they're purple. Okay. I know I'm a purple nut. All right. the rules again so let's just uh let's just do swirlies and then we'll do swirlies right here <laughs> okay you can do anything you want and make cool patterns okay i'm gonna spin this out any kind of patterns you want and make some cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna go back this way. All right, let me see, I'm gonna do it one more time, make sure I got the paint off. up so you guys can see it there's just so many options you guys can do um you don't always have to have cells i know cell junkie here um saying that is hard to believe but because i really like my cells but i think this is really super cool and um easy super super simple anybody could do this so all right all right, I'm going to bring her up so you guys can see her. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, you know, or in, in the chat, whatever, what you guys think of it. If you have any questions, definitely. Um, I may do one more. Okay, so there's that. I really like this one and how it turned out. Okay, let me do one more and we'll call it a day, okay? Let me get another coaster. All right, guys, here's another pretty simple one that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do a flower. So I put my pillow paint down. Um, so I'm just going to speed this up because there's a lot of colors and stuff. Um, and then I'll slow it down when I go to do the pattern. So I'm just going to put the colors like I would if I was going to uh, do a bloom.
Okay, guys. So I'm going to get this towards the middle a little bit. Make sure it's in the middle. And then I'm going to take my skewer or toothpick or whatever. And I'm going to go from the middle and I'm going to bring it out. And I'm going to do this all the way around in a few places. Make sure you go from the middle. And I'm kind of getting a little bit on my well. I kind of call that the middle, I guess. Oops. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna go from the outside in like this. In between them. It's not perfect. <laughs> I'm going kind of fast here, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's okay. Um, might see this go be a cool pattern. <laughs> I didn't screw it up too awfully bad. Okay, not perfect. Definitely not perfect. Okay, you get the you get the picture. You spin it out kind of easy, so you don't make a you know get it too wonky. Just want it to spread out. Okay. Spread out a whole lot because I didn't have a whole lot of um, paint on it. Yeah, it's spread out so. Just a little wiggle go. Maybe. Okay, we're going to try to spread it out just a little more, maybe. It's not in the middle, I don't think. Okay, I think that's in the middle more. Not perfect, but that's cool. <laughs> Pop some bubbles. Looks like I got a few bubbles in there. Spin it one more time. Maybe I'll take the torch and do that, and I'll spin it. Hopefully, it'll help get that. I should have I should have popped the bubbles first, but I wasn't even thinking. It's not gonna spin out. That's okay. All right, you guys get the picture. <laughs> Let's bring this up. I'll have you guys take a look at it. And you can do all sorts of different colors with this, so it's slippery bad. It's bad, 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 slippery. Okay. So you can do all sorts of different colors, different patterns. Um, get this off the edge here. So, I mean, it's endless with the different colors you could use doing this. I do like the colors. I wish I would have popped the bubbles first, but that's just something I didn't do. But it's all good. So, all right, so here is this one, and then um, I'm going to grab another coaster, and we'll do one more. So there's that one. All right, hold on one second, and I'll get another one, and we'll do the next one. Put my pillow paint down. Okay, 
rip this off. So I don't want to waste my uh, purple paint. <laughs> no, no wasting the purple paint. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get this spun out a little bit. Or spread out. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay. edges. Okay, I'm going to my hand off. All right, let's see. What colors do we want to use? This one, I think I'm just going to make multicolored. And we'll just use some of the same colors. That way you guys can see the difference the patterns make. Um, so this one, I'm just going to do random. I'm just going to random this and just kind of just put some all over the place. straight up and down with it. Okay. And let's go let's go across a little bit now. Go a little bit. And let's just uh let's just do the I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're just gonna random it. Okay. I don't know what it's going to look like, but we'll find out. All right, let's spin it. All right, let me get another spin the other way. Way I went. <laughs> I don't remember which way I went the first time. All right. I think I'm still asleep this morning. All right. All right. Let me pick her up. I'll show you guys what she looks like. And we will call it a day. I like how this one turned out. It turned out cool. All right. You wipe the drips off. You know you got to do that. Otherwise, it'll keep pulling, pulling your paint off the top, and you don't want that. It's going to mess up your designs, mess up yourselves. It's going to mess up your life. <laughs> so don't do that. All right. Don't forget to do that. All right. Here she is, guys. You can tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like what you see today, please like, share, and subscribe to me. Um, and if you really like what you see, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of all my videos as soon as I upload them. Um, I'll put a dry, or, or not even a dry, I'll sit, take a picture, and I'll put this at the end of all of them that I did today. Um, if you have any questions or uh, want to need some answers on how I did some of this, just leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I love to hear all your feedback. So uh, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching. Um, 
up after me is Shannon Baxman with Shan B Fluid Art, um, an amazing, amazing artist, uh, super sweet. Um, we have, um, I'm not even sure what all the lineup is today, but I'll have her link in my description or, and I will have, or in my title, sorry. Um, you can just click on that or I'm sure, uh, Darren Nixon always puts the, the link in the live chat. So if you're in the live chat, just click on it and head over to her. She's an amazing person and an awesome artist. So, all right. Love you guys. See you all next time. Bye.